time to spray. Isaac thinks we take the duels off of the off of the 8520. So we uh, it's just it's just easier to spray with that tractor. You're trying to avoid the camera. <laughs> Quit walking away. It's, it would be quicker to take the duels off. Oh. Yeah. It's like all the combine. Back to John Deere for five dollars. And then they'd mark it up to ten. It's true. Okay, so it'd be quicker to just take the duels off. The 8520 then would be to switch the switch the sprayer back to the 4640. Plus it's more fun, better air conditioning, better hydraulics. Other than what year it was built in, I don't know that the, you know, is there anything better about the 46 over the 85? What is wrong with the year it was built in, huh? What are you saying? Be careful what your words are. <laughs> your older people watch. <laughs> I'm saying maybe some, I don't know, maybe the caliber of the engineers at the time. I don't know. Eight, I mean, 20 series is Whoa, a great tractor. You know, see, I just, I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to walk that one back without digging myself in the, in the hole you know further. This is annoying. This weather, it's like. It's freaking cold in the morning, so you gotta have a sweatshirt on. Come back outside after lunch. If you're in the shade, you need a sweatshirt. And then you walk out into the sun, and then you're sweating. And then you go to the field, and you're like, oh crap, I could have been in the field for like two hours. Weather. Weather! If you haven't left the barnyard, you walk around here, and you're like, oh, it's still muddy here, so... <laughs> That's exactly how I think in my brain. Like, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> See, this will be this will be easier to take the front doors off. Oh yeah. Leave the spacer on, so you just take that off. Oh, leave the spacer on. That's cool, dude. Oh, my eighty-one. Tw I've got spacers. I should just put them on for the heck of it. And like we could, we could take one of these old rims and cut it up like spikes, like whistling diesel. I know. My my brain was not talking like that then. Just FYI. So you're saying uh, you did all this by yourself with more weights? Yeah, it's easy. Okay. You just take the 30 20. Well, heck yeah. What are we waiting on take then? The 30 20 in the bucket. You take the impact and, and then you back away and then you turn around and do the same thing. Okay, so what we need to figure out is where are we dropping them then? Yeah, and maybe we could prop them, drop them onto something. Does it matter? All I say is wherever we drop them, leave us enough room on the backside so we can back in there with the 3020. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Worst comes the worst. You just pick it up. Well, you chain it and drag it, and who knows? Something like that. For one thing. a lot nicer to spray in this tractor, that's for sure. So we're taking the duel, we're going to take the duels off here so we can spray, mainly because the corn is, corn's like four inches tall, I know you can run it over, but if 
we were stepping squarely on top of the corn, we were snapping it off. And with all these, all these duels that you see here, fore and aft, I do not want to see what that does in the field. So hence, why we're gonna take the duels off. That thing popped off of there so fast when I turned the wheel, I didn't even get a chance to record it. Hey! Hearing protection? Hearing protection! What? You gotta, you gotta protect your ears! Yeah, the tops of the soil is drying out pretty good. It's dry, dry. Now under this, under this, yeah, it's still relatively damp there, but he's going to be able to plant. He is planting into a cover crop though. So, yeah, you know. Okay, he needs me to move the tractor. much work. That's not bad. That was a little bit more of an adventure, but getting that first duel off, he knows what he's doing now. So, see, this tractor showed up here a year and a half ago. Isaac put the duels on himself. They've stayed on there ever since. Typically, these kind of tractors, you don't take the duels on and off. But because of the nature of spraying with the 4640, we decided uh, we'll, we'll take these duels off. So we're doing a lot easier job rowing through the corn like this. We're gonna leave that extension on, by the way. Just like that. There you have it. We're gonna start spraying. Probably within the hour. Okay. I'm gonna put the fuel trailer somewhere and get hooked up to the dump trailer. Okay, fuel trailer. Okay, fuel trailer. We're gonna get hooked up to the dump trailer with all the chemicals. Meanwhile, it looks like it might rain. So goes, so goes the year. But we are very fortunate to have the rain. So no complaints there. Just like that, 
our weather dramatically changes. So where this was gonna be a video and a day about spraying and Isaac's getting back in the field planting, it looks like uh, we're just gonna have a video based on uh, the, the trials and tribulations of trying to get into the field. But I think Isaac's gonna be able to plant for a little bit. So there you go. We're gonna go spray today after after yesterday's rain delay. Isaac's out planting, planting his soybeans. I am post spraying the pre-emergent um, corn chemicals, so I mix a couple chemicals around, um, swap them. But yeah, right now we're just waiting for this uh, load off of the uh, the nurse tank over here into the sprayer behind me, and then we're gonna go we're gonna go spray some spray some corn, row some corn. So that corn is V3. It's pop can height. Loaded with chemical. We're gonna go to the field and then we're gonna spray. And it's gonna be awesome. Not gonna run any corn over. The GPS is gonna work. Everything is going to be great. It'll be fun. All right, pulling into the field now. Just got done with the field on this side. I'm gonna do the field on this side of the lane over here. I just finished the one over here and I had just enough to go like 30, 40 yards on the first pass into the other field over here. Okay, I gotta go make sure we're gonna get products in the Aboot. We're good.
switch, you should be able to switch chemicals after that. So the main thing is, there's this chemical tribal, which is used in corn. Anywho, this chemical, uh, it can only be used on corn before uh, V3, uh, stage Lexar, which is a similar chemical 